I can't believe I did that. <laughs> yes, I see it. We don't have to talk about it. Hi, welcome to my channel, Zulzi Draws, where I draw because I feel like it. Or I sculpt because I feel like it. And do you know what else I feel like doing? Playing some video games. <sighs> what a wonderful day it is to murder someone. Of course, I'm talking about in the Among Us game. Well, that was cute. I already told you guys that I like playing Among Us, but Jordan, you're an art channel. I know. So how do I go about making this video game into art? Watch me. I went to Michael's and I purchased some of this oven baked clay. Here's the brand. I bought two packets of these. Woo! And I also purchased these little key rings off of, I'm gonna be honest, Amazon. They look like this. So here's the plan. Let's make a little Among Us spaceman out of clay into a keychain. But with all these colors, I don't know which one to pick. I got that figured out too. I'm gonna play a couple rounds of Among Us and I'm just gonna play it like I normally do. Whoever I kill first, that's gonna decide which one gets made into a keychain. Now in this game, you can wear fun little accessories. You can wear a crown, a fedora, a leaf growing out of your head. I will include this accessory in the final product. You get the picture. Whoever dies first gets a tribute piece made for them. Cue the transition. All right. Boss rates me and Paige. Should I get red? No, because I know there's someone here. <laughs> I need to do something like better than this though. Med bay doors closed still. Vent. I killed green. Oh, there's a body in there. I bent into security. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> so you guys witnessed a murder. Yes, and I killed lime green. So, bitch, Macan, you will be missed. Gone but not forgotten because I'm about to memorialize you. He's wearing like a, a nice dapper cream suit and a black fedora. He's, he's a fancy guy. Looks like he dressed for his funeral. Let's get started. So I'm gonna look at the directions here real quick. Do not microwave. Baking should be completed by an adult. So let me start to unwrap this here. I should have got scissors. Y'all don't know how nice that feels. It's soft. Ew, look at the streaks it leaves on my desk. I'm not messy, it's just the clay. And also, I'm messy. What do you think about this light gray for the for the helmet? This is why it says you need to be accompanied by an adult. Because I can't even open it. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, so just bear with me. All right, this is how I make the legs. Oh, it's already cute. I just realized I don't have enough to make their little jetpack backpack thing. The jetpack, is it a backpack? Comment below. All right, so new plan. I'm gonna cut a chunk off because that's going to be the backpack. So let's shape this into a square for his back later. I'm gonna slam it on the desk to get straight edges. We don't do no curvy edges here. All right, I started with something easy first. That's gonna be the little backpack. I need to keep in mind he's gonna have a little fedora on too, so his head can be a little flat. All right, let me try these little legs here. All right, his legs go all the way up. Come on, legs. Oh, we're getting somewhere. The clay experts out there are shaking right now. Y'all can't take me. Why is this leg thicker than this one? Come on, they gotta be able to run. I'm probably gonna take that little excess and put it into the jetpack, backpack, oxygen tank. Maybe it's an oxygen tank. All right, they look more even now. 
but we're not leaving those little wrinkles. I wonder if the spoon's gonna help at all. At least get rid of my thumbprints and palm prints. All right, he looks great from the front. Let me redo this little oxygen tank we've decided. Sometimes they go out on the little planet, so I guess they need oxygen. Unless they're not humans, which they might not be. Well, two of them definitely aren't with those long toes. Let's make this into a box again. This literally looks like one of those now and later candies. Kids, don't eat these. Oh, I like myself. Does this look good? <laughs> His backpack's gotta go right here. He's cute! I just don't like these little wrinkles. You know what? I'm gonna cover up those wrinkles with the little oxygen tank. <gasps> look at him, he's so cute. All right, now I wanna move on to the helmet, which we decided we are going to use the light gray, which honestly, this is gonna be a pretty small chunk. We could make it shine with a little bit of white, but I can also paint this later. Let's make a bubble. I feel silly today. I thought this had glitter in it, but I think it's just the oils from my nasty skin. I'm getting there. You know what? We'll use a spoon. Probably, probably flattening it. I don't know what I'm doing. You just fake it till you make it. Also, like, I could make this channel an educational channel teaching you guys how to do everything step by step. But the problem with that is I just, I just, I don't know what I'm doing until I do. Does that make sense? I just fake it till I make it. And you can too. All right, I guess that works. <laughs> and I'm going to now add his fedora and his suit. But what do we think so far? All right, I need to pull up a picture of what that fedora looks like. I'm gonna think about this fedora as two little shapes. It's gonna have a flat brim and a bump up. Yeah, here's my thinking. We roll a ball. That, you know what, whenever you do clay anything, you just roll balls and then turn them into something else. Ready for this? Move out of my way. I mean, it's not bad. By the way, when I do these videos lately, because I'm doing so many close-ups on my hands, I've been like making sure to put extra lotion on before I start filming. But like I said before, I work at a coffee shop. I do a lot of dishes and I always end up with something, with some sort of random cuts at the end of the day. People are like, oh, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. Also, do I even want to put the suit on? It's so cute without it. I think we're scratching the suit. It's so pure. This is awful. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna redo that, I guess. What if I do my own character? You know what? If you guys like how this video turns out, comment below and I'll do more. All right, let's try this again. Ew, the brim is so crusty. Like, is this a pizza crust? No. This is not necessarily art as much as it is a craft. Like there's arts and then there's crafts. <clears throat> oh, you know what? That helped actually. We'll, we'll make it work. I don't know if that'll affect baking or not, but like, I know exactly the kind of tool I need. I just don't have one. So you know what? Next time we'll get a professional carving kit. Probably not. Here's what I need to remember. This is a kid's clay kit, like, Y'all can make art out of anything. Do you like how I got that water out and then immediately forgot about it? I'm hoping that it'll just get a little smoother that way. I know I'm not doing something right, but how will I learn until I fail for myself? I never make these projects out of clay. I don't use clay, so you know what? I'm proud of myself. <gasps> Is that good? What happened to you? Who, who hurt you? I did not. Oh yeah. I did. All right, I feel like moving on at this point. <laughs> um, but like I said, I wanna make this into a keychain. So I gotta find somewhere that makes sense to like punch a little hole in it. Well, it's happening. Okay, you know what? I'm satisfied with him. You know, I don't think I'm done there. I need to make one more. Yes, in honor of my loyal imposter partner, Paige, we need to make a tribute to Paige. Because if anyone was wondering, we got caught. So we lost that round. So RIP me, RIP Paige. All right, Paige, this is for you. Sorry that we lost. Sorry my line was bad, but to be fair, yours was not much better. This one's gonna be cuter though, I can feel it.
You're too shabby. <sighs> Yellow, I need to wash my hands again. Oh, I almost cut myself. A little crease in it. Gorgeous. I'm having a crisis. <sighs> Listen, y'all. <laughs> We just got back from baking this in the oven. I think they turned out pretty cute. It's not perfect. I'm not an expert at this stuff. But you know what? It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I want to take a few paints and this is what I'm going to do with them. On our little Among Us characters, they have very shiny helmets on their faces. So I'm going to simulate that with a little bit of paint. They also have shadows on the bottom halves of their bodies. So I'm gonna try to paint a darker version of the yellow and of the green. Let's see if I can match a color that's close to that lime green. Ooh, why are you so chunky? Whoa, that was, that's more than I wanted. I don't want, oh, why is it so chunky? Y'all, this paint is old. I don't know what I'm doing. Fake it till you make it. I think he looks cute. All right, I'm gonna let that dry in the corner for a second. I really like how this shadow gives her a little bit of more, a little bit more dimension. God, look how orange you look, girl. I'm gonna put the shine in these helmets now. We're gonna give it that cartoony shine. All right, there's lines. I like that. I want this to come out darker than the rest of the helmet just to put a little bit of shade underneath. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Ooh, that started off real dark. That's all right. We like happy little accidents. Isn't that cute? All right, let's clean this up a bit. And by clean it up, I mean put these paint brushes in a cup of water overnight and forget about them until I have to buy more. Don't do that. Ah! Fix that up. It is all coming together. Let's open up these key rings. Hopefully the holes I made are good enough. I got choices. So let me start with one of these small ones. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Oh my gosh, please don't break. It's not as hard as you would imagine it. By the way, I put this in there for one hour. Okay, it's on. Listen, they don't stand up by themselves. If I do this again in the future, I'm gonna make them their own little bases. Kind of like if you look at the characters, they have little shadows on underneath them. I'm gonna have to get like pliers or something or to close that shut again, but I like how that looks. Let's do the same thing with Lime over here. His hat looks real weak, y'all. Wish me luck. And he's on. All right. <laughs> Barely, though. <laughs> okay, so I'm not a sculptor. I'm more of an illustrator. But you know what? I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did, too. Here are the little figures that I ended up with. I gotta say, for like an oven bake kit that comes in things that are that small, I'm pretty impressed. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and that's how I will know to do more like this. And please, if you are good at this game, comment some tips below so I can get better at it. I very well may be doing more videos like this, but who knows if that's going to be next week. The fun thing about being subscribed to Zulzi Draws is you never know what you're gonna get with me because every week I draw whatever I feel like. And the last thing I wanna say before I go is that if you don't subscribe to my channel, I think you're pretty sus. Thanks as always for watching. And I think that's all I have to say, so we're golden. Bye.